What's up, everybody? It's T Squared. Mrs. Violence. And we're here at day three Comic Con 2012 in San Diego. And we found the real R2D2 right here. R2, how are you doing on day three of Comic Con, buddy? Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. I'm such a big fan. And I just want to know is, it, is this really you or is this a cosplay? Okay, so it is a cosplay, and it's all, all because of my man Gene over here from R2D2 Builders Club. Gene, come on in. So this is, he built this from hand. Please tell me, how long did this take you? Took two years to build. Two years to build, wow. And what was your inspiration behind all this? So, uh, what, what made you get into building something just like this? Well, every fanboy wants their own R2 in their home, and that's basically why I wanted. Because I'm such a big fan. I was in the armor with the uh, costuming and stuff like that. That's the next logic step to go to build your own R2. All right, so will he will, you know, fix your car for you, anything like that? If you have any motor issues, will he come through and fix that for you? No, I, he can't even do my own laundry, yet, so I'm still working on that. Come on, R2. He doesn't like, he says he's allergic to laundry. Excuses. 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 Well, Gene, it's amazing that you built this. I'm extremely impressed. This is the best thing since I've seen, this is the best thing I've seen at Comic-Con so far. We're huge fans. We're about to go in inside right now and check out everything that they got going on with Star Wars. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank We're kicking it off. Star Wars right now, Comic-Con day three. Let's go. All right, so check this exhibit out right here. This is, Absolutely amazing. They have The Walking Dead, Lord of the Rings, and Star Wars. What else do you need in a booth? Those are three of the hottest things out right now. I cannot wait for The Hobbit. I cannot wait to see Walking Dead again. They got it in black and white. They have awesome figures right here. Zombies. A little bit of zombie action here. Can I talk about Walking Dead since it's one of your favorite shows? Oh, absolutely. Easy, easily one of the big, biggest and best fans out. So we got bigger statues over here though, a little bit uh, more detailed instead of just little zombies. We got the half corpse that was in the well, of course, you guys. He was classic, you know, sending Glenn all down there. And of course, Rick, the sheriff, doing his duty like a boss, of course. And all of these are just mini replicas. A lot of them are made out of bronze as well. So it's like a faux bronze but they are pretty pretty hefty in price, so these are for the ultimate fans right here. You got Sucker Punch, one of the, the first enemies you see in Sucker Punch, which is super, one of my favorite movies too. I'm like a big nerd. And then of course The Hobbit. These are half, um, half statues, pretty much minis. And there, you know, you got Gandalf, Thorin, Gollum, of course, and Dwaylin. And these, this is gonna be, I think, the biggest title um, of, the, of the year when it comes out, I guess because The Hobbit is Lord of the Rings related and everyone, everyone is a Lord of the Rings fan. Yes. What a, what a little tease, these guys. Pending licensure approval. That's like your, your little small print there. I'm a little disappointed. We're not sure if we could actually buy these yet. Everything that we've seen so far has been, you know, 10 bucks. This is probably gonna, they're gonna drop like 120 bomb on us for something that nice, I guarantee it. So let's check out what we got going on over here. Oh, pa uh. Yeah, oh man. Mars Attacks, what a classic movie. <laughs> yep, good old Pierce Brosnan in that one. You got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. You got Harry Voldemort with the, his uh, pet snake, obviously. And Danger is a female, Yuki. She's got that cute little makeup palette doing her, doing her thing. Let's scoot on over, see what else we got going on here. More Mars Attacks, freaking hilarious. One of the best movies ever, I, s I swear, you guys. Of course, Pan's Labyrinth, you guys, The Pale Man. Love that movie, absolutely amazed by it. He's 225 bucks, so just to give you a little uh, hintosaurus of how much this stuff is gonna cost you by size, by detail, there you go. And of course, can't, can't forget the annoying, the annoying orange, orange, man. Kid made fame on YouTube. Not the first one to do it, of course. And as we stroll around, there's a lot more stuff, you guys. This is the sickest booth, I'd say, in Comic-Con because this is a gentle giant, GG. We got more Star Wars, got a couple cosplayer stormtroopers right here, and deathly stormtroopers and everything. Of course, they're getting their picture taken. Bosses right here. These are the, these are the men that save the universe. This is pretty sick right here. We can get a close up on him. It's a zombie death, death trooper statue. That's what they're calling a death trooper. That's sick. 
I mean, that would have went great yesterday with William. He's, he's probably a fan of that statue right there. More stormtroopers, of course, the OGs, the clone troopers for the Clone Wars, because, you know, that, that happened. Also, the other miscellaneous characters that no one really pays too much attention about. W. Wald, of course, Rebel Fleets, the guy that's the... Yeah, I'm that big of a fan, sorry. The, you know, canteen scene. Jar Jar Binks, my man, doing the official thumbs up of approval. <laughs> Let's try to sneak in here and see what we got. Some more badass Stormtrooper stuff. Oh, look at that. The book holders. That is sweet. Hey, guys, what do you think of this display? This is awesome. Are you, are you a little disappointed that it's pending licensor approval? Because I, I want to pick one of these up. I would want all these in my house, just everywhere. Nothing but these. Are you just, are you just like a big Star Wars nerd like us? I, I love Star Wars. It's like It's just like... If I'm ever bored, just think about Star Wars, and you're happy. Uh, what's your favorite episode? I like episode five. Episode five? What do you think about that? That's a good choice, man. Very good choice. I'm a big episode three fan. Just because the score and the composure John Williams did. It was phenomenal. I cried. <laughs> We're going to come check out some more of this stuff. We're running into some Marvel stuff over here. We got Iron Man. We got a little bit of Avengers action. We got Hawkeye. We have Hulk. Moon Knight. A little bit of Venom up there. Venom's looking beastly, man. He's on some roids right now. Hawkeye's got the different arrows. Look at him. Yeah, I know. What's up with Hawkeye? He's got all these different arrows. He's all lined up, man. He's ready to go. Yeah, these guys don't mess around. They don't mess around, man. What do you think of this display? I love this display. I think it's gorgeous. I love all the pieces here. Uh, you know, I actually found out that the Ghost Rider statue, the base lights up. No way, oh, no yeah. way. What are, anything else light up? Anything else move? Uh, well, we got the, uh, the Iron Man Avengers mini bust over here. The chest, uh, the Arc Raptor and the chest lights up as well. And uh, yeah, and these are these bookends actually. The brackets uh, can be removable, so you can display them as statues. No way. So oh, those are actually bookends right there. Uh, bookends. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. You guys seen the Darth Maul? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the Darth the Darth Maul no, no, is super Darth badass. Really? That Check it out. Darth Maul after he got cut in half. This actually, I think that's from. Is that from the cartoon, right? Clone Wars. Yeah. Clone Wars. Clone Wars yeah. Correct. They did them as a realistic style, though. Uh, they did the statue as a realistic style, uh, because. You know, it's a lot more epic looking that way. I agree. This is extremely epic. I, what do you think this would go for? If this, if you want to have this in your house, what, how much would that cost? Uh, my guess would probably be somewhere between 300 and 450. That's actually not that bad. I want to, I want that like, official Star Wars case though. Like right when you walk into my place, this is what I want you to see. Yeah. <laughs> I want yeah, Kelly has to showcase it like that though every time you walk in. <laughs> but hey man, thanks for your time. Hey, not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's check out some more sick stuff here at Gentle Giant. We're going around and we got some more Hobbit stuff in the front here. Yes. I cannot wait for this movie, man. This flick is going to be super badass. So here we go. These I looks like these figures don't do anything sweet. Hobbit stuff, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my god. I, I really want to check out some of these statues over here. These are these are in the pricey range. You got uh got a couple of two hundred dollars, got an eighty dollar Gandalf, and of course the uh five hundred dollar smog, I think that's how you say his name. Not too sure. I just call him the golden usually from the Hobbit. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to say certain names in the land of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so go improv. But he is 500 bucks, man, plus shipping. So they don't even, they, they do you dirty. They even make you pay for shipping. But look at that. The art from Middle Earth, of course, of course. And honestly, you guys, it kind of looks like the dragon from Elder Scrolls Skyrim that, you know, when you pre ordered, you got the collector's edition, you got the dragon. Well, for $500, you could get another dragon. So which dragon would you truly want? I'd probably want this one, though. Unfortunately, Elder Scrolls, you just. You're just not that good. <laughs> expensive date, man. Expensive date. We got some. We got some stuff up here in the front. This looks like where everyone gets all swagged out with everything that they need. The One Ring .net. Haven't been to that website, but it sounds intense. So, oh, we got a bunch of stuff for sale right here. A bunch of Lord of the Rings swag going on. I want. Where's the Where's the Lord of the Rings Pog sets? I, I miss Pogs. Anyone else miss Pogs out there watching? 
And all this stuff in the front, extremely affordable. Yeah, this is awesome stuff right here. I need one of these. This is all steampunk, guys. So if you're big fans, definitely check out the OneRing.net. Check out all these awesome books. Let's get the cover over here. Boom. Weta, the collector's guide. Oh, ha, ha, ha. So sick. Has all these sick weapons. Awesome uh, shots of Middle Earth. Obviously, the Shire right there. Weapons from Lord of the Rings. Look at that. Wow. Sting, obviously. That's, uh, you know, Frodo uses. You know, it lights up blue when there's orcs around. Come on, guys. <laughs> I think I see real examples of these swords over here on the corner. Come here. Coming through the line, coming through the line, coming through the line. Here we go. The prop replicas from The Hobbit. This is super sick. Look at this. You got to wield this thing. You got to walk around with that and just totally dominate. That is awesome. I love the display here. I love in the background. They have the Lonely Mountain. That is awesome. Attention to detail here. Yeah, look at this sword over here. The Master Swordsmith's, Master Swordsmith's collection. Handmade, wow. That's impressive. You guys can read what's going on right there. Each sword comes in a wooden case with a certificate of authenticity signed by Peter Lyon and Richard Taylor. No relevance to Tom Taylor. And a 10 minute DVD showing how the swords were crafted. That's super awesome, that is so cool. And heading over here, we have the Sting. We have more prop replicas from The Hobbit. You have hunting knives. These look awesome, man. Very cool stuff. More minis over here. N nice, 375 figure. Balling on a budget again if you want to get these. Th this is in your price range. The only thing I'm recognizing that's a little bit different is the Hobbit feet. Uh are a little more hairier on the bigger figures. <laughs> Looks like my feet a little bit. Oh, Gollum. My man, Gollum. I wanted to interview him, but he's too busy getting his picture taken right now. Looks like he's sitting on, on top of the fish. And that hair is so realistic. That's, that's super creepy. I feel like he's just gonna randomly grab her shoulder. <laughs> I love you, Gollum. <laughs> yeah, we can't forget about the giant trolls that are super creepy. Everyone, lo everyone loves trolling. Everyone loves trolling. Oh, Tintin, Legends of Tintin. We, our Adventures of Tintin. We saw that in theaters. Yep. We saw that the night it came out, actually. <laughs> Pretty good movie. My man right here, Beard Bros, the Beard Bros. This is a little bit better, you know? But I'm, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. The Nose Bros, what the, come on, what the hell? Oh, here we go, this is what I was looking for. All that stuff that was over there is over here as well. 99 bucks, so I wanna know why this guy is 600 bucks pretty much, and then this guy is 99. I mean, what's the, what's the big deal here? What's so sp this guy's, what? 700 bucks. Wow. These better do some really special things like teleportation or something like that. Oh, well, this is an Adam Ray gun. Okay, so yeah, they, they, they do something cool. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's check out the trolls. A lot of people trolling over here. These guys are hairy. And they smell like toe jam. Oh yeah, gotta get a picture over here. I don't know if I want to go down there. It stinks down there. Oh, it's rancid. Sorry, walk. I'm photobombing here. I'm photobombing everyone's pictures. Look at this. I just wanna, I wanna braid this right here. It, it's so realistic. Oh. They have snot coming out of their nose and like tears coming out of their eyes and stuff. So I think this dude's blind. He's got one fudged up eye, one good eye. 
So they, they went all out. They very went realistic with these trolls and how they are in Lord of the Rings and you know how Bilbo defeats them. And only 99 bucks for this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not for sale, guys. But we're going to wrap it up here. Back to you guys.